Good afternoon and welcome to the Trojan Fieldhouse and the Mark R. Moore Center for today's Pops Duncan Classic game between Kentucky Wesleyan College and Missouri s &T. Now for the starting lineups. First, for the Panthers of Kentucky Wesleyan. A 5'6 junior from Dixon, Kentucky, number 10, Kaylee Duncan. A 5'5 junior from Harned, Kentucky, number 11, Lily Grimes. A 5'10 senior from Livingston, Tennessee, number 14, Keely Lamb. A 5'8 sophomore from New Salisbury, Indiana, number 22, Kelly Nolot. And a 5'11 junior from Bedford, Kentucky, number 23, Kaylee Clifford. The Panthers are coached by Caleb and Nicole Neiman. They are in their 10th season, and they are assisted by Martin Daniel. And now for the Miners of Missouri s and A 5'8 junior from O'Fallon, Illinois, number 3, Marta Dirk. A 5'6 senior from Republic, Missouri, number 14, Jordan Kabetsky. A 6'2 senior from South Bend, Indiana, number 23, Michaela Baylor. A 5'10 senior from Raytown, Missouri, number 30, Ashley Harvey. And a 6'1 senior from Hobstadt, Indiana, number 34, Maddie Rayleigh. The Miners are coached by Alan Eads in his 18th season, and he is assisted by Mike Brown. Today's officials are Matt Bolster, Kyle Potcotter, and Warren Smith. Welcome, everybody, here at Moore Gymnasium, home of the Moore Maniacs, as... Uh, here on the campus of Trevecca Nazarene University has got the first girls matchup of the game as uh, we got the Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers and the Missouri SNT Miners. I'm Jay Henson alongside Claire Johnson, SID from Missouri SNT. I'd like to thank her for coming in as we got a pretty good ball game coming up. Yeah. As uh, looks like Wesleyan, we're going to have a foul on SNT. As we'll try, we'll give you the starting lineup here in just a second. We got for Kentucky Wesleyan, number 10, Kaylee Duncan, 11, Lily Grimes, 14, Keely Lamb, number 22, Kaylee Nolet, and number 23, Kaylee Clifford. Number 11, that's Grimes, kicks it out to Lamb. Back up top to number 22, that's Nolet. Nolet up for two and good. And that makes it two to nothing here early for the Wesleyan Panthers. Kentucky Wesleyan in the white and with the gold, uh, silver numbers with purple outline. Wesleyan right across the chest in purple. It, uh, Missouri S&T in the green with gold numerals, white outline with white lettering. Shot off the mark by number three. That is Dirk, Marta Dirk, and rebounded by the Panthers as they'll Almost a double dribble, picked back up by number 11. That's Lily Grimes. Over to Lamb, she'll drive. She's from Livingston, Tennessee, just up the road. And she makes that one, and it's four to nothing here in the early going. I'll tell you what though, Claire, this team can flat out play. They scored 97 last night. Uh, I can't remember who they played, Rockers. Hawkers. Yeah, they uh, they came out hot yesterday against the Hawks. And Pull up jumper, speaking of hot, number 34, Maddie Riley. Yeah, it's the... Uh, Myers aren't careful. Panthers will come out and just kind of shoot their way out until they leave. And they might be getting this one on number 34, or excuse me, number 30, Ashley Harvey. And it is. That's two quick fouls for Harvey. Two team fouls so far. But uh, for Missouri s and it's uh, number three, Marta Dirt. Number 14, Jordan Kabetsky. Number 23, M Michaela Baylor, number 30, Ashley Harvey, and number 34, Maddie Rayleigh. I'm guessing I'm saying that right, Rayleigh? Rayleigh, yep, Maddie Rayleigh from Hopsout, Indiana. Nice. First shot was good. Second one is also good for number 11. That is Grimes. So 5-2 to two here in the first period. Eight, to, or excuse me, 5-2 to two with eight minutes to go is what I was trying to say. 
If anybody's not used or wow, pull up three by number 14, that is Kabetsky, and it goes out of bounds back to the Panthers. If you're not used to women's college basketball, not like men, like men, they play two halves with 20 minutes each, but it's in quarters. Four quarters, 10 minutes apiece. They changed that about two years ago. Yep. So a little bit different, but about, but the same, just different, you know, quarters. Lamb gets it out of there, almost almost walked with it, but she throws it away. Number, looks like, is that number 10? Yeah, Katie Brown. Should be the first time we'll really get to see her. She played about three minutes last night. and Did a uh, good job defensively there. Yeah. And it also, Kaylee Duncan for picking a witch, number 22. Kaylee, note it, will go up for two, and it's good. Off the steal. And it's seven to two. If I can find her number. Ball swung over, number 10. That's Brown, drive up for two with the right hand. Nice finish. Panthers want to push it, however. Pull up three up top. Boom. They Big are dangerous. Kaylee Clifford. Clifford. Last night, five of six. She was four or four last night from behind the arc. Make her five for five. <laughs> and that one's going to be off the tips of Clifford. She's got a nice little stroke. I'll give her credit. Really good, really good ball team from Owensboro, Kentucky. Just up I-24. Ball swung back up top to number 14. That's Kabetsky. Man-to-man defense here for the Panthers. Four on the shot clock. Kabetsky ain't got a whole lot of time in his block. Rebounded by Lamb. And we're going to have a foul on number 14. That's Jordan Kabetsky, her first. Team's first. Or excuse me, team's third. I apologize. Pressure of, of what the Panthers are doing is giving the Miners a lot of fits here in this early going. 10 to 4 is your score, 6.50 to go here in this first period of the Trebekah Classic here at Trebekah Nazarene. Driving up for two, gets it partially blocked by Kabetsky, bringing it down over to number three, Dirt. Back up top to Kabetsky. Kabetsky to the right over to number 34, that's Rayleigh. In the corner, that's number 10, Brown. Looking in the paint, throws it up top, ball tipped. Not stolen away. Good job by number 14, Kabetsky, to come back and get it. Gets it off in the paint. Up for two. Number 23 in and out. That is uh, Michaela Baylor, rebounded by the Panthers. Bringing it down is number five. That's Richardson. And she walked. Can't believe they didn't call it, but they're going to get a foul instead. Number three, that is Marta Dirk. Her first, team's fourth. And number five, Leah Richardson to the line. Shoot two. It looks like Richardson's got a knee brace on her leg. It kind of looks like she might have had an ACL tear at one point. You sure couldn't tell with that step through, though. You got, no. <laughs> I, but still, and I have no partisan in either team, but that, that looked like a walk from my end. I can understand the step through, but she got a little bit carried away on it. <laughs> Either way, rebounded by the Miners. Ball's lobbed into the big girl. Baylor gets it blocked, however. Rebounded by the Panthers, bringing it down. That's Richardson in the front court, looking to drive left. Pulls it out. Swings it back up top to Clifton. Or Clifford, I apologize. Right hand by number 11, Grimes, pulled up short. Rebounded by the Miners. Dirt to Kabetsky in the corner. Number 10, that's Brown driving. Kicks it back out to Kabetsky. She's thinking about it, wanting a screen. She'll go to her left. Rolling is Baylor. Baylor up for two in the paint. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back up and good. Good job there by Michaela Baylor. If she can do that right there for the Miners this year, that'd be a... Yeah, she's so long that she takes up most of the paint. <laughs> Just a, well, she is a senior from South Bend, Indiana. She gets that one. And she'll get it on off to Kabetsky. Six foot two, she doesn't look it here, but she might be. Pull up three by number 34, Maddie Rayleigh, and no good. Rebounded by the Panthers. 
Livingston Academy product. Gives it on off. Pull up three in the corner. In and out. Rebounded by Baylor. Off to Dirt. Dirt crosses the timeline. Looking to drive. Off to Baylor. To Kabetsky. Got a host of girls coming in here in just a minute. Kabetsky. Pull up three. In and out. It was there. Brown just could not, couldn't get the roll there. Lamb all the way to the cup and good. And the Panthers have just been going at it here in this first half, first period. Kabetsky has it up top. 4.15 to go in this first period. Kabetsky up and we got a foul coming. And that's a good call there. And I believe they're going to call that on number five. And we're going to have our first media timeout. So we'll take the timeout with them. When we come back, we'll have free throws. 4-12 to go in the first period. Kentucky Wesleyan, 13. Missouri S&T, 6. Back right after this on the GMAC Network. All right, without a doubt, Tubac has been one of the best decisions I've made uh, from an educational standpoint. Um, I mean, like I said, I've, I have three graduate degrees from there, two master's degrees, and now a doctorate. I would never thought I'd have one graduate degree and have three from one university who is, you know, taking care of me in a lot of regards. And without even exaggerating, Javeka helped mold me into who I am just from that simple fact that they taught me everything and, and from an educational standpoint. And I go back to that first class with Dr. Kersey and, and my master's class and just I learned so much in a short time and I was just like, wow, there's a lot out here I don't know. You know, I was really, really novice in a lot of different skill sets and so Trebekah has, has really helped me grow. And even from the genesis of all this, they've helped me grow as an individual and taught me a lot about education. Welcome back to more gymnasium here on the campus of Trebekah Nazarene University, south of, just south of Nashville, Tennessee, in Nashville, but we're only about two miles from Broadway. Just go up the street and you're there. Jay Henson alongside Claire Johnson, the SID from Missouri S&T. She is trying. She's been her best to be unbiased in this ba in this basketball game. Uh, it's so hard when it's your own team. <laughs> just want to just want to root for them. I know it. It's all good. <laughs> it's thirteen to six, Kentucky Wesleyan here in this first girls matchup of the day. First shot by Kabeski is good. She gets her first point of the day. And it's finally afternoon. I've been saying night most of the night, day anyway. Second shot, good. Got a couple of new girls in. Looks like number 15. That's Laura Rodriguez coming in. She'll get Kabeski a break. Number five, that is Richardson bringing it down for the uh, Panthers. Over to number 22, Nolet. No, uh, excuse me, that's number 22. Up for two, Nolet and good with the right hand. Good finish. That's something that the Panthers love to do. They are up-tempo, run-and-gun matchup. Ball's in the paint. Ball's tipped. Picked back up by number 45, Kerr. Thought about it to number 15, Rodriguez. Gives it back off, and we got a charge. As number 15, Rodriguez got, her, got up in the air. Probably might have just gone up with the shot, but she gave it up instead. And the girl in the paint, number 21, uh, Tahelia uh, Walton. Uh, I know I just butchered her name. Uh, got the charge called. Ball pulled back out. Pull up three in the corner for Westland. In and out. Rebound. Ball's on the floor. We got a scramble. Tipped around. Picked back up by number 45. That's Kerr. Good hustle there by the Miners. Ball swung over. To number one, that's Kristen Keys. Pull up jumper by number 15. Good. Nice mm. little 10 footer. That's Katie Brown. She's got four. That was, that was Laura Rodriguez. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, good. lefty from Spain. You're right. You're right. See, that's why I'm glad I got you here. I would have <laughs> messed that up. Yeah, so Rodriguez with the jumper. And then we got another point on the other end. I didn't see who scored it, but I'll get it in a minute. Dirt looking in the paint. And no, I don't mean Dirk Novinsky. It's Marta Dirk. Ball swung up top, almost stolen away. Pull up by Dirk up top, short, rebounded by the Panthers. And now we're going to have another scramble. And wow, they call timeout. Close call. 
head coach for <laughs> Missouri s and not too happy about it because it seemed like the ball was still in play, and I'm kind of – I'm right there with him on that one, but either way. <laughs> He's going to get a talking to here <laughs> is uh, Coach Eads. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's why I love basketball. <laughs> I can't help it. I love a coach that rides with refs no matter what. <laughs> you could be getting beat by 30 or winning by 30. He's going to ride them no matter what. <laughs> I love it. 17 to 10 is the score after that 30-second timeout by Mr. and Mrs. Yes, I'm saying that right. Mr. and Mrs. of Kentucky uh, Panthers, Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers, Neiman, Caleb, and Nicole. It's their 10th season. Husband and wife, Cole, head coaches. Don't see that whole often. You don't see that a whole lot. But I can guarantee you this, who's the good cop and who's the bad cop? That's what I want to know. That's that's the real question. <laughs> <laughs> Back cut, nice up for two and good by Lily Grimes. Good pass there by number 22, uh, Walt, or excuse me, Nolik. Wow. And that one, they're going to say it's off of Carter. And it'll go back to the Panthers. Just the tempo is just so much right now. It's just hurting the miners right now. But they they have gotten Wesleyan to do some things that they're not too used to. Pull up three up top. Air ball, and that ball's going to go out of – no, ooh, just went out of bounds. Good hustle. But either way, it'll go back. Yeah, that's something that makes Wesleyan dangerous. Their guards aren't afraid to get in the paint, and they're – Post players aren't afraid to shoot the three. It makes them real dangerous. I mean, it just shows you that not they're not just a one-dimension team. Yeah. They can they can kill you from anywhere. Yeah. Balls in the paint, up for two, and up and good. Nice job there by Brown. And and that I don't know what happened oh, there. She, just <laughs> she threw the ball in, but then lost her footing. Did uh, Johnson? <laughs> Either way, Lamb gives it up, back up over to Nolet. Nolet, nice bounce pass again. Up for two in the paint. No good. She was in between the trees there. Rebounded by number 45, Carter. Brown tried to lob it to Kerr, stolen away. Across the timeline. Good pass to Lamb up and under. Misses the layup. Rebounded by the Miners. 19 to 12. Panthers of Kentucky Wesleyan over Missouri Science and Technology, the Miners. Rodriguez off the curve, back to Rodriguez. She's going to drive the lefty in the paint of Kerr, and they're going to call a charge. Ugh, I don't know. That was close. Another yeah. one. That's going to be Kerr's first, team's fifth. A couple of new girls in for the Panthers. But I don't know what happened on that one. It looked like she might have been in the paint or in the uh, circle there. But yeah. Anyway, they don't. They don't check that in, in, in this in this league. Pull up three up top. No good. Rebounded. Ball still tipped around. Brown. And they're going to say she was out of bounds. That's just good hustle. I don't think you call that out of bounds there. Man, that's just really good hustle. Katie Brown, she uh, she started off at S&T her freshman year. Transferred to Nebraska Kearney is back. And, you know, she's been a big asset to the minors so far this season. She's got a whole lot of spunk. I like it. Yeah, her. she does. <laughs> Driving right. Lamb using the left arm. No good. Rebounded by Rodriguez. who skied in the air. 20 seconds to go in this first period. Rodriguez over to Brown. What can Brown do for you? Ooh. Just short. Rebounded by number 22. That is Nolet. Nolet to the cup, and they're going to call a block. And I think Coach Eads agreed with that, even though he probably wished it was a <laughs> charge. She was not set, and I agree with that call, yep. unfortunately. That's on 15, Laura Rodriguez, her second, unfortunately. Team sixth. First shot for Nolet in and out. I will say this. Wesleyan's hot shooting is not – they have not shown it like they were last night. Of course, they're still on pace for about 80 points, but not 97. <laughs> And the second one is good by Nolet. She's got seven, and it's an eight-point ball game. Miners are still in it, just under 10 seconds to go. Shot clock off. Kabetsky trying to throw it in. 
Stolen away by Lamb. One second. She'll fire it from Livingston. No good. And we'll go to the second period. We have a score after one. The Panthers of Kentucky Wesley in 20. The Miners of Missouri S&T 12. Back right for this on GMAC Network. Welcome back, everybody. Jay Henson here alongside Claire Johnson. As we're at the Moore Gymnasium, or the uh, Trojan Fieldhouse, here for the Trevecca Classic in Nashville, Tennessee. From Rolla, Missouri, Missouri S&T taking on the girls from Owensboro, Kentucky, Wesleyan. We're going to say off of Brown. Kerr tried to get it to Brown in the paint. And it'll go off of Brown's leg back to the Panthers. 20 to 12 after one quarter as we're in the second. Here in this first half. It's been mainly Wesleyan, but S&T's kept it around. They're, they're not going out without a fight. Pull up three by Lambs in and out. Rebounded by Kabeski off to Brown. She'll slow up. Gives it back to Kabeski. Kabeski looking right, swings it over to number 34. That's Rayleigh, and she throws it away. Nice pass up to number 11 up. That's a good a good job by number 11. Uh, that's Lily Grimes. It's a good pass from 23, Kaylee uh, Clifford. But what made that better was number 11, Lily Grimes, went into the contact and got the contact from number 34, and uh, number 34, Rayleigh, and... That's how she's going to the line to shoot two now. But either way, just a good move all around. Number 10, or excuse me, Lily Grimes. Junior, five foot five from Harned, or Harned, Kentucky. Went to Breckenridge uh, County High School. Hmm, never heard of it. First shot was no good, second one is. And it's 21 to 12, Panthers. I would give uh, some football updates, but uh, my team, the Vanderbilt Commodores, uh, they're in Florida, and uh, they're getting beat probably what you're thinking, so <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. In and out, rebounded by the Panthers, pulled up to Grimes. Going to drive again, kicks it out, pull up three, in and out. Rebound, and we're going to have a foul. Hmm. Yeah. Only, only way I see that being a foul is because he was behind her. From yeah. our vantage point. Right, Rayleigh came in over the top. Ditch, so yeah. That, yeah. Of course, in our angle, it looked like it was a jump, but like you said, she was over the top, I do believe. Yeah. Ball tip. Good, hu good hustle there by Rayleigh. Rayleigh's got two quick fouls. She'll come out. Kabetsky will come back in. As Coach Eads is going to gonna have to get some a lot of production out of his bench because Wesleyan is playing 15 girls. He's played every one of them. Swung over Grimes. She'll drive left, stops, pulls it back out to Clifford. She's going to drive middle to the cup. A lot of contact. Ooh, but locked by Kerr. Kerr said, give me that. She rips it from her. Into the front court. Kabetsky into Kerr. Kerr up with the left hand, and she gets fouled. And Kerr to the line to shoot two. 
sophomore, six foot three, and she's ever bit of it. From St. Louis, Missouri, went, went to St. John or St. Joseph's Academy. First shot, in and out. Six three, sophomore. Tell you what, no wonder she's in D, NCAA D two. She can. That she's that body that you want that you see yeah. for a, for a girl in Division Two. Yeah, for six three, she can she can move. She can move. Yeah, she's and got good footwork. Yes, she's you know she probably don't weigh a buck ten, but still. Yeah, she <laughs> she might be ninety pounds soaking wet. Right, but man, she's gonna give it her all. You got that right. Swung over. Rodriguez going to drive left. The lefty all the way off the curve. We're gonna have a jump. That's just good hustle there. The uh, at number ten, Kaylee Duncan was just right there. Kerr didn't see her because Duncan is five six, <laughs> so Kerr had no idea she was there. Yeah. At that point, especially for Rodriguez, she's left-handed. Well, she had nowhere she's, to go. She yeah. was, it was either going to be a off-balance shot or do that right there. So, either way, twenty-one to thirteen is your score. Oh man, that was almost should have been a uh, shot by Duncan, but no call. But she didn't do it. Grimes. Going to drive left. The speedy five foot five girl up for three is number 23, Kaylee Clifford, and she buries it from Owensboro. And it's 24 to 13. Driving middle, Brown. Back up top to Kabetsky. Looking in the paint. She'll pull it back out. About seven minutes to go here in this first half. Wesleyan of Kentucky with an 11 point lead. Brown going to drive right. Might have pulled, pushed off a tad. Rebound by Kerr, but gets it blocked. Rebounded by the Panthers. Grimes has it. She thought about it. Now she'll drive left on Rodriguez. Back out. Duncan, all the way to the cup. Misses the layup. Rebounded by number 14. That's Kabetsky. She's driving left. Getting pounded, but no call. Kabetsky looking in the paint. We're going to have a hold on number 23, Clifford. As her and Kerr were going at it. Clifford 5'11". There is not a girl on Wesleyan's team that is over or at six foot. So height advantage s and But I will say this. Wesleyan's got a lot of girls that can flat out play. Doesn't matter what size they are. Yeah. I mean, their 5'5 five, five girls play like they're 6'10". Right. <laughs> Driving middle, Rodriguez. Kicks it back out over to Kabetsky. 11 seconds on the clock. Up for two. Kabetsky left hand. Nice finish. That's another girl. She doesn't have the height, but, man, she is not afraid to get into the paint. Got that right. Makes it back to a nine-point game, and we got a stoppage of time. Shot clock. Yeah, we've had some uh, issues with the clock today, uh, both games so far, but – Looks like they got it straightened out. 6.27 to go in the first half. 28, well, that's what they put it on. 28 seconds is what they put on the shot clock. And almost a walk right off the face, number 12. Wow, uh, Barger, Barga from uh, Farmland, Indiana. That hit her right in the face. Up for two, right hand, Lamb. Wow, rebound, that's a walk. How in the world did they not see it? <laughs> Lamb has it on the right side, driving left in the middle. Tries to get it off, off the thigh. Rodriguez is in there, and they're going to call a timeout. Mm -hmm. Good job by Coach Eads. Because I was thinking if they call that a jump, <laughs> Coach Eads might be thrown out of here. He might be heading back to Rolla. <laughs> it's just going to be a 30. We'll keep it here, I think. Nope, they're going to make it a media. We'll take it with them. 5.57 to go in the second quarter. Wesleyan of Kentucky leads S uh, Missouri S&T 24-15. to Back right for this on the GMAT Network.
Welcome back, everybody, to some more gym here at the Trojan Fieldhouse, home of the Trevecca Trojans here on the campus of Trevecca Nazarene University in literally almost downtown Nashville, Tennessee, about maybe a mile and a half from Broadway. Just get on the Murfreesboro Avenue right here or whatever it's called and take a left. You'll be there. Not too far, but either way. Got a good one going on right now. 24 to 15, Kentucky Wesleyan up on Missouri S&T. 548 to go here in this first half. And we got another foul. And it'll be on number five, Leah Richardson. That's her second. Team's third. But uh, as we were talking during the break, got a lot of good football games going on here on this football Saturday. We actually got a D2 football game going on in front of us. I'll say that here in a minute. Stolen away, Lamb up for two with the right hand. Tried to get a call, no call. That's no charge called. Now we're going to get a foul. And that'll be her first shot on number three. That is uh, Dirk, like I've said before, not Dirk Novinsky. Marta Dirk. She is from O'Fallon, Illinois. Basically St. Louis. Yep, just, <laughs> just east, of. east side of St. Louis. Yep. yep. Driving right, Lamb. Back up top. Clifford already made one. Drives right. Kicks it out to Grimes. She'll drive up with the left hand in the finish. Wow, what a drive there by Grimes. Up in the trees. And she makes it look easy. Up for two. In and out. A lot of contact. No call. However, number three, Dirk, is coming up hobbling. I think she landed on her ankle a little bit wrong. Clifford has it. Pulls it out. Grimes on a drive. Stops. Out to Clifford. In and out. That's going to be yeah. over the back. Good box out by Kobetsky. That was, was just good defense. She slid in on that help side there and was able to get back, get that over the back call. Definitely. The young, the smaller Kobetsky blocking out the bigger number 10, Duncan. Or excuse me, not Duncan. They called that on a 14. I apologize. Uh, Lamb, so 5'10", five, 5'6". Five, Do the math. Rodriguez looking in the paint at Brown. Can't give it to her. Now they can. Nice catch by Brown up for two. Doesn't oh. get the roll. Just a little bit too much English on it. Pull back up top. Number 12, Barga for three. No good. Rebounded by number 23, Baylor. Baylor over to number three. That's dirt. She's still hobbling a little on that leg, on that, on that foot. Brown from downtown, short, rebounded by the Panthers. 4.08 to go in the half. Grimes wants a three in the corner, in and out. Rebounded by Baylor. Off to Kabetsky. Minnesota's already beat Penn State. Can, can the s &T squad beat this Panthers team? Could happen. They're still in it, Jay. I know. That's what no, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not counting them out. That's why, that's why I said it. If Minnesota can beat Penn State, s and can beat Wesleyan. Just an 11-point game. and I mean, every time Wesleyan's come down and scored, you think, well, it's going to be a blowout. Well, s and comes right back. Kabetsky up for two. Left hand. Got it off in time. And she gets the rebound. <laughs> yep, and we're going to have a jump, and it's going to stay here. Good hustle by Kabetsky there. Let me tell you something. The senior from Republic, Missouri, I thought they called a jump. Yeah, I was fixing to say, they, it's a jump. It is. <laughs> They're saying green. So three more girls coming in from for the bunch from o Owensboro, Kentucky. We got number two, Emma Johnson, number 21, Talia Walton. I knew I misspelled it on my book. It's Talia, not Talia. Anyway, Rodriguez lobs it in to number 23, Baylor, over to Kabetsky. 15 on the shot clock. Kabetsky cross-courts it to uh, Dirk, over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez going to spin, drive left with a floater, and good, good oh, play. Oh, man. She's so good with that spin move. If she can get to her left side. That was a really good move but there by Rodriguez and definitely a much-needed bucket for the Miners. Good cut there, however, by number 21, Talia. Walton, and it's good. She's a red shirt freshman from Stanley, Wisconsin. Lobbed in. The up for two. Gets a nice friendly roll, does Baylor. 
And we're up and down, back and forth. Here we come. It's 28-19, Kentucky Wesleyan. Grimes back to number two. That's Johnson. Swings it over to Walton. Walton thinking about it, but now she's got to give it up. Gives it up to, I can't see her number. It's number 10. That's Duncan. Back out to Grimes. Grimes setting it back up. 10 on the clock. Gets it out. Pull up three on the wing. It's short. Rebounded by Grimes, the, short, the smallest one out there. Going to drive, stops. She walked, no call, and throws it away. Good defense there by s &T. and it's a big turnover, I think, in, in this game. If you score down here, you get it to within a two-possession ball game. Almost at the two-minute warning, speaking of football. Well, NFL. Ball swung back over. Dirt, pump fake, and she did walk. I was hoping she would pull the trigger, hesitated just a tad, just couldn't go. Either way, another turnover for the Miners, and we're under two minutes, a minute 52 to go in the half. Wesleyan leads 28-19. to 19. Swinging it left are the Panthers. Driving left, Walton, left hand, what a move. What a finish. Yeah, good ball work from the post player on the wing to be able to put the ball on the ground. I mean, she's just a – on the court, she's a freshman, but, wow, she got a yeah. lot of work in last year, I'll tell you that. that. She might be something special one day. she got a really good left hand. Rodriguez going to drive. You talk about a good left hand. Back out to Brown. She drives left. Stops, and that's going to be a charge. That's a charge. Yeah. That's a, that is a definition of a charge on that one. Brown's just got to slow up. Good work by Duncan, getting her feet set, yeah. taking that. Definitely. And they're going to bring in, looks like Clifford will come back in. And looks like a new girl for s and is about to come in, number 54, Kristen Stein, junior from Baldwin, Missouri. She's uh, the minor women's soccer starting goalkeeper. Really? Yeah. Wow. So she's doing some double duty up yeah, in Rolla. Yeah, she is. Pull-up jumper by number two, Emma Johnson, is good. And then extends the lead to 13 as we're under a minute to go here in this first half. Cross court to Rodriguez. She'll pop a three, and it's good. Laura Rodriguez with a three from downtown. She's got seven. Driving middle, Grimes getting double team. Kicks it out to Clifford. Over to number 10, that is Duncan. Off to Walton, Walton driving up, left hand. Good defense there by number 23. I can't say her name to save my life, and it's Baylor. Michaela Baylor. You would think I could <laughs> think Baylor Green, Baylor, <laughs> but I can't. Rodriguez, she had a shot, didn't take it. Looking in the paint. she still got a shot. Shot clock is off, 15 seconds. Left hand, and it's going to be another charge. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've never seen a team take as many charges as I've seen Wesley in today. My goodness. Man, they are just in the right spots at the right time. I agree. And they're outside the circle, so, yeah. you know, give them credit. Well, the goalkeeper for the uh, minor women's soccer team is in. That's 54, Kristen Steins. I'm going to guess she's in to be a bully in the paint since she played soccer. She's yeah. probably tougher than I am. She is not afraid of contact. No. Let me tell you. Junior 5'10", yeah, I'd say so. She looks like somebody that can just bully somebody in the paint. Across the timeline is Grimes. She's going to drive left. Steins didn't come off that help. Pull up three in the corner. It's short. Rebounded by Baylor. And that'll be the end of the half. Good end of the half for, for S&T. S&T playing pretty good there at the end of that first half. Looked a lot better in that second period than they did in the first period. Let's see what Coach Eads and the Miners can do as, as Coach Neiman and the Lady Panthers, the Panthers of Kentucky Westland, ha have a 10-point lead. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we will have first half stats and analysis. Right for this, Kentucky Westland 32, Missouri S&T 22. You're listening to the GMAT Network. You know, when you go to any other university, I feel like you could just sit there and kind of take it all in and kind of get by. But here, it just feels something special. I know guys from the apartments, and I know guys from the dorms. 
gets unique at Tribeca because not only are you creating a friendship, but you're also kind of spiritually growing together and fighting the battles that you're fighting within the classroom, just with your social life, everything like that. I feel like Tribeca is such a unique experience just because not only are like the coaches on our team trying to grow us as soccer players, like their first main focus is trying to grow us as individuals. So like for most of us, soccer is gonna end once college ends. They're trying to better equip us for the world and like how are you gonna be a better Christian? How are you gonna be a better person to other people? How are you going to not only know like your own value, but know how to like love people and see their value within them too. Friends I've made here are really some of the best friends I've ever had. Um, so that's one huge thing that's really impacted me and they've changed, I've changed a lot. I'm a sophomore, so I've changed a lot since my freshman year and a big part of that is probably my friends. So I'm actually a transfer student. So Trebekah has, has given me a family, has given me friends that are gonna last a lifetime. Uh, I'm already a groomsman in a couple weddings, so uh, it's, it's been remarkable. This place cares. Um, the people here care. The professors here care. The staff, it doesn't matter if they're teaching you or not, they still care about you. They still want to see you succeed. They want to know how you're doing. They want to know how school going. Coming from Honduras, it was a big cultural shock, but Trebeca made it easier to adapt to a different culture, to a different kind of food, kind of people, and I'm grateful for that. Welcome back everybody to Moore Gymnasium or Trojan Fieldhouse, home of the Trevecca Nazarene University Trojans here on the campus of Trevecca Nazarene, just south of downtown Nashville, Tennessee, about a mile and a half or so. Take your little trip up there, get your little honky-tonk on, go watch a Preds game or something, it's pretty fun. 
I'm Jay Henson alongside Claire Johnson as we're here watching a pretty good ball game. Wesleyan has missed a ton of shots. They're only shooting 37% compared to S&T, not much better, 34. It's not a very good shooting game, but there's a lot of hustle in both both of these teams, though, Claire. I mean, I, I like seeing the hustle out of both teams so yeah, far. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Wesleyan came out hot, just taking it to the minors, but s and has been matching it, especially in that second quarter. They yeah. they came out and they showed them, you know, they're not going to roll over. No. I mean, the, uh, Wesleyan got it, I believe they got up to about 12. And then you kind of thought, okay, well, let's see what happens. And then Rodriguez hit a big three. They get a stop, come down, a layup, made it seven. And, you know, you and I were both talking. You know, well, Wesleyan, I mean, here's the deal. Wesleyan's almost shooting their way out of it because they're wanting to shoot threes all day. And they've only made a couple. And then you look, you know, s and is going to the rack. Unfortunately, that's why there's been a lot of charges called on the, on the minors. But you see the competitiveness. s and like you said, they're not going to lay down. They're not going to be like, all right, well, even though this team may be better shooters, we don't care. We're, we're going to come at you. We're going, to come, we're going to play with you. And that's what they're doing. It might be 10 points, but it's closer than what that scoreboard says. Yeah, and the minors, for being – a short team, yeah. <laughs> they are not afraid to get in there, especially people like Kabetsky and Rodriguez that are, you know, about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, they will take it to the hole without a second thought of it. And Rodriguez did a really good job, sophomore 5'7", from Gran Canera, Spain. She took it, she went right, and I'm thinking, well, she's going to go to the right. Well, she spins left, does a little up and under with Lamb. Lamb is 5'10" and a senior from Livingston, Tennessee, from uh, Kentucky Westland. And, I mean, Rodriguez just took it to the cup, made an easy floater. Or not a floater, but a, a finger roll. And then she comes out here and makes one from the A of the Trevecca uh, logo, as you see on the screen. I mean, that's about how far out she was. And she she's showing that she can play a little bit. And uh, these girls from Rolla, they don't care. They're, they know that the Panthers have a really good team. They're coming off a 24-8 and eight year where they went to the NCAA tournament. But... Hey, the miners don't care. They're like, hey, we're going to come out here and we're going to give you everything we got, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, looking at the rebounds and stuff, it's 20. Look, miners have 22 rebounds to 19, so they are out rebounding the Lady uh, the Panthers. Turnovers, though, that's the biggest deal, though, Claire. 12 to 5 in favor, unfortunately, of the miners. Yeah, and about four of those turnovers for the miners are offensive fouls on the, off the charges. Kentucky Wesleyan just – getting in position correctly and making sure their feet are set as the miners are driving into the paint. Right. They're just doing a really good job defensively of sliding over into that help side defense. Right, and I totally agree with that. And, and, and there's been a couple, you know, you and I are kind of like, eh, maybe. But for the most part, you are you are correct. I think Wesleyan players are doing a really good job. Uh, both Mr. and Mrs. Neum and head coach, and I know you all think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Caleb and Nicole – Nyman, I think. It's either Neiman or Nyman. Uh, tenth season as Cole Ed head coaches. Husband and wife. Actually, I like that. Uh, looks like the male is the dominant one from what it looks like. The female sitting on the bench. So I think I found who's the top dog <laughs> and who's not. But then again, it looks can be deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> it might be the woman you don't want to mess with <laughs> and the man you want to mess with. So either way. Well, we're having some fun here at the Trevecca Classic. We'll be back in five minutes for the second half action here in just a minute. At the half, Kentucky Wesleyan 32 and Missouri S&T 22. You're listening to the GMAT Network.
I've already had my associate's degree. It worked for me. But I noticed a point in my life where I wanted more. I wanted to attain those things that I needed to get me where I wanted to be in life. Going back to school, I thought I had to take online classes or I had to commute. But Trevecca had a satellite campus right here in town. And thanks to Trevecca, I'm finding out that I'm able to do this. Finish your degree at Trevecca Nazarene University. Visit tnustarthere.org for more information. Welcome back, everybody. We're here at the Moore, Moore Gymnasium, or Moore Gym, and on the campus of Trevecca Nazarene University, as we're here at the Trevecca Classic, or Pop Duncan Classic, with both of them basically combined. Um, as, on the, as we're talking, uh, having a little bit of some ball game, good ball game going on right now. 32 22, Kentucky Wesleyan over Missouri ST. As I guess Claire has found some fans in the stands. Yeah, uh, number 54, Kristen Stein. I played basketball with her older sister, Becca. Oh, yeah. So uh, I've known their family for a good 10 or 11 years. Uh, and, uh, they're probably, yeah. right now, they're on their phone, probably texting you saying, uh, why are you wearing a microphone? Yeah, her uh, mom, Trudy, actually, they just texted me. <laughs> My mom is asking why she's on a talk show with the other team right now. So. Well, I can, I can <laughs> promise you. It, I'm neutral just like you are, so <laughs> we're good. Actually, I'm more neutral than you are. I mean, yeah, you're, I was say, you're I the assistant SID from Missouri SID. Yeah, this is my so. team that I cover. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of here. I'm, I'm trying to be unbiased, but, uh, <laughs> you know, go Miners. It's hard, I know. <laughs> Wesleyan leading the Miners right now, 32-22, as we start the second half. Lamb with it. She drives right, pulls it back out. Grimes driving middle, stops, pull back out. Clifford for three. It's no good. Rebound, ball tipped around. Kabetsky with the rebound. Good start for the second half for the Miners. They definitely needed that. Yeah. Kabetsky, high post to Baylor. Thank God I got that name right. <laughs> Kabetsky from deep, in and out, rebounded by Lamb. Yeah, she's not afraid to pop that shot from about, you know, it looked good. four it or just, five feet out. Just had to get it up just a little bit. That's going to be a charge. Yes, it is. Yep. As, Another thing. As Lamb tried to get it off to Grimes, and she did not set her feet, or didn't stop, rather, and mm -hmm. runs right through Kabetsky. And that Kabetsky giving uh, Wesleyan a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. I don't know how many charges they called in that first Man, half. Man, yeah. I, I'd say about four or five. At least, yes. Hand it off. Kabetsky in the paint up the left hand. Short, but she gets her own rebound. Back out. Rayleigh. Kabetsky. Corner pocket. Bang! And Kabetsky gets it under 10. It's 32 to 25. Yeah, watch out for the Miners. They had a big third quarter yesterday. Uh, went on an 18-0 run to start the second half against Trevecca. Down 28 and got it back, eventually tie the game. Seven so. points for the junior. Up for two in the paint. Grimes misses. Rebounded by Baylor off to Kabetsky. Big possession right here for the Miners here in the second half early. And I don't know what happened there. Either way, turnover. Grimes, nice pass to Lamb. Block, get it out of here. Baylor with it. And she falls down, and they're going to call a foul. And Coach E's not too happy. I totally agree with him on that one. I think that one should have been left. Yeah, it was a little, a little bit of a weak call there. but Fortunately, that's yeah. they're going to call that on Rayleigh? I didn't even know yeah, she was in Rayleigh, the vicinity. Yeah. I didn't even know she was in the vicinity. But anyway. Uh, that's her third. And wide open. Clifford misses the layup. And we're going to have a jump. And back to the Miners. And look at who's back in that scramble there. Yep. Jordan Kabetsky. Who else? I swear, that girl's fearless for being 5'6". <laughs> I'll tell you what. 
if, if the Miners had five girls that were like Kabeski or the whole team was like Kabeski, I think Coach Eads would be happy. Yeah. That team would be definitely studly. In the paint, turn around jumper just short, rush that shot. And they're going to say off a lamb, and that ball, mm, that was close. I couldn't yeah. tell from our angle. I couldn't tell if it was off a of Harvey or not, but it was not, according to Mr. Official. Lobbed in to Kabetsky, looking for Rayleigh on the side, gives it to her. That's got to be a lob. She can't toss that like that. Yeah. If she wants to get that in the paint like that, she's got to lob it and lead Baylor in. She threw it to Baylor like a chess pass. Yeah, and luck, go ahead. Yeah, say, especially with how long Clifford is, you got to get that over the top of her. Like that. Harvey loses the ball, however, off her foot. Stowing away. Wesleyan bringing it down. Up for two. Grimes. Baylor. Oh, and we got a – that was incidental. Good sportsmanship there by Kaylee Duncan. As Kabetsky, she's had <laughs> – well, it wasn't her, actually. It was uh, number three, Dirk, is who I was thinking of but uh, with the uh, ankle. But yep. Kabetsky took a hard fall there. Thank goodness she's all right. That's yeah, she's pretty. tough. Yeah, I don't think it would, it would take a lot to get her to come out. I can yeah. tell you that. Nice little drive off to Harvey. Up for three on the wing. Short. Kabetsky, who else? But misses the layup. <laughs> Baylor with the rebound. Up for two. Good in the foul. And she'll go to the line to shoot the old-fashioned three-point play. And the Miners coming out, guns blazing. A lot more energy from this Miners team from Rolla, Missouri. The and one is good, and she has seven to Baylor. And, folks, it is a four-point lead. It's a 6-0 run to start this second half. Number 22, that's Nolet has it, swings it to her left, over to number 10, Duncan, over to Grimes, drives middle. That's where she does all the time. Clifford open for three, and good. You knew that was coming. Yeah. They can shoot it from three. That's Clifford's second, or excuse me, third. All her points from behind the arc, and it's back to a touchdown, 35-28. The extra point was good, by the way. <laughs> Trying to lob it in. Try to get a cut in Harvey. Honestly, for me though, Claire, on that one, if I'm if I'm Baylor, I'm turn I'm pivoting left and going up with that shot. Yeah, you just got an and one. I mean, she's got seven points, eleven rebounds, too. I mean, she's long. Oh yeah. I mean, she can jump over the top of them, get that hook shot. Baylor, six two senior from South Bend, Indiana. If anybody knows what that is, that's the uh, home of Notre Dame. And that's got to be an offensive. No, they're not. They're going to call a – I didn't see the number, yeah. 30, Harvey. Yeah, trying to run through the screen instead of getting out yeah, over she, the top of it. Yeah, put a forearm in a girl's chest. You're not. You're going to get that call every time. Yeah. Lobbed in. Clifford has it. Off to big jumper on the side. No good. Clifford with a push in the back. No call. Baylor with the block. Clifford with the rebound. Back up to Lamb. Lamb guarded by Harvey. She's going to drive on her. And, oh, I don't know. That's Tiki Tech. Yep. That's hmm. going to be her fourth, though. Unfortunately. And she hasn't played much. I mean, she played some in the first half but got two quick fouls. And she played three and a half in this one. And she's going to have to sit with four. And if I'm Coach Eads, I'm probably going to put her back in maybe later in the quarter, mm -hmm. early fourth. Number five, that's Richardson. Hands it off to Clifford, but Richardson gets it back. Got an ISO here on Kabetsky. Might not be a very good idea. Up for two. Oh, man, what a finish there by number five, Richardson, with the left hand. And she's got three, but that was a tough move. And Kabetsky, that's about all she could do. Yeah. 37-28 is your score. Wesleyan with the lead, and it's another turnover. And we're going to have a foul on Kabetsky. And that's going to be her second oh, or that's third. From uh, Marta Dirk, actually. Oh, they caught it on Dirk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, little, little I got reaching. I got Dirk with two, and that's actually three. Yep, that's her third. Unfortunately, their fouls are getting on up there for the Miners, and that's never a good thing. But anyway, five, just under six to go in the third period. So far, Wesleyan has calmed the storm of the Miners, but... It's only a nine-point game. Clifford wants another one. It's short. Rebounded by Brown. Off to Kabetsky. Kabetsky. 
to Dirt. He tried to lob it in, but it's like I said before, it needs to be a lob, not a straightforward pass. Especially over Clifford. Like oh, yeah. That. You've got to get that way yeah, over Clifford, the top of her. Clifford's listed as a 5'11", and she's ever bit of it. Yep. And that is off of Baylor. It, I think if Baylor doesn't touch that, though, that might be an easy layup. Yeah. 5'21 to go in the third. 37-28 is your score. Wesleyan with the lead. Lobbed into Clifford off her fingertips. Nothing she could have done on that. That was just a bad pass from the from the, from the the uh, inbounder, which was number five, Richardson. Either way, bringing it down, Kabetsky, high post. Baylor tried to hand it off to number three, Dirt. Oh, and that's a walk. Uh, I don't know about that, Jay. That was a really good step through. Was it a step through? Yeah. Oh, I looked up. I was looking down at the name, and I, I just saw the, the one step. So I thought she was supposed to go on a jump stop, actually, but I guess she didn't. Yeah. But, yeah, that's a, that's just a good step through, like you said. Good job there by Walton. She's just a red shirt freshman. Oh, and where in the – Where's the foul at on that one? Okay. Wow. Kabetsky gets absolutely hammered. No Co Coach Eads is not very happy about it. 11-point lead for Wesleyan, 39-28, 4.43 to go in the third. We'll take a media timeout. You're listening to the GMAC Network. Welcome back, everybody. 4.43 to go here in the second matchup of the day. The next two games will have Trevecca, uh, the host school of this Trevecca Pops Duncan Classic here in Nashville, Tennessee on the campus of Trevecca Nazarene. Trevecca going to take on Rockhurst at 4 o'clock right after this one. And then the men in the nightcap, it will be Trevecca and Drury, the Drury Panthers. So, good matchup coming up with that later on. But right now, got a pretty good one going on now. It's been pretty pretty hectic between this Wesleyan S&T matchup. Baylor up for, or gets the rebound, rather. It was uh, Richardson with the rebound. I mean, the shot. Baylor with the rebound. Kabetsky driving. Kicks it off Rayleigh. Off to Dirt. Back to Rayleigh. Rayleigh looking for a cutter and throws it behind. Number three, Dirk. And it's going to go out of bounds. And yet another turnover. I'll tell you what, Missouri s and is lucky it's not worse than what it is with all the turnovers. That's been the biggest deal. Yeah, I was going to say with the turnovers they've had, but, I mean, they've taken some good shots and have kept right. themselves in the game, played some good defense. Yep, she yeah. did. I know I know Coach Nyman, and he looked at his wife, and she's like, yeah. He did. She, she, did. Did. she did. She did. She, she did. Traveled. Don't get mad. No. She did. <laughs> it was a good idea, though, with – she saw that Baylor was going to jump early to block her shot, try to jump stop and pump fake her. Yeah, and she just she just drugged that back foot, unfortunately. Kabetsky swings it right over to Brown. Brown driving left, swings it to Dirt in the paint. Baylor up for two, foul. That's that is the pass that the miners are looking for. Yep, and that was that was what we were hoping to see right there. And, and now Baylor will go to the line to shoot two. That is the foul on number 21. Talia Walton, her first, team's fourth. Both teams with four fouls. She takes three dribbles, eyes it, pops it just a little short. Four oh three to go here in this third period. Wesleyan with the eleven point lead. Baylor trying to make it ten, and she does. Baylor with eight points. 
four minutes to go here in this third quarter. 39-29 is your score. Kentucky Wesleyan with it. Number two almost drug that back foot. Speaking of walking, Johnson over to Richardson. No good. Walton, what a hustle there from Walton. She tries to throw it in the paint. Stolen away. Bringing it down is Rodriguez, the lefty. Across the timeline, looking to drive, but stops. Looking for a guard, gets it off to Brown. Brown, going to drive right, pulls it out. Off to Kabetsky. Kabetsky looking. Thought about lobbing it. She'll pop a three short, but gets her own rebound. Up for two, fouled and Oh, just short. Let me tell you something, folks. Kabetsky can flat out hustle. My goodness. She is putting on a clinic. For someone that's 5'6". Yeah, I told you this earlier in the broadcast, Jay. For being 5'6", she is fearless in the paint. I think fearless is an understatement. <laughs> First shot is good for Kabetsky. That is her eighth point of the night, day. Well, I guess it's basically night now. Almost. Huh. Almost. Almost. 307. And the second one is good as well. She has nine. Ball is... Well, they... Are they going to say a tip it was? I thought I, I was kind of up in the air. I wasn't sure if it was tipped or not, but they said it was. But an eight-point ball game, 317 to go here in this third period, 39-31, Kentucky Wesleyan. Baylor comes out, and 45, Kerr comes in. Thought about driving to number 22, Nolet, but she doesn't. She picks it up in no man's land off to Walton. Walton loves to drive, but she's going to lob it to Johnson. Up with the left hand, no good. And Johnson off of her dribble. It goes out of bounds. Who was there, Gardner? Well, nobody else but Kabisky. <laughs> she'll give it off to Rodriguez, and she'll bring it down. Three to go in the third. Trailing by eight are the Miners against the Panthers. Rodriguez over to Brown, looking in the paint. Brown going to drive middle. Stops. Off to Kerr, back up top, Rodriguez. Rodriguez to Kabetsky, looking to drive. She sees a lane, thought about it, gets it into Kerr. Kerr stops, needs to give it off, and she might have got, she might have tried to. Got a little push there. Yeah, maybe tried to sell it, but couldn't get the, didn't, nobody bought it, and it's going to be a foul on Kabetsky as she tried to go after the jump. That's about all she could have done, however, and that's going to be her second. Team's fifth. So now Richardson comes out and number 12, Barga, comes in. Walton, number 21. Red shirt freshman, 5'11", from Stanley, Wisconsin. A little far away from home. That's hockey country. <laughs> then again, she might be at the capital of hockey here in Nashville, Tennessee with the Predators. If you ain't been to a game, you need to. Rodriguez wide open, popping a three, short, rebounded by Johnson. Johnson to Walton. Walton all the way to the cup and good. Might have got away with the walk, but no call. 41-31 is your score now. Two minutes to go in this third quarter. Brown wanting to drive off to number three. That is Dirk. Kabetsky thought about it. Swings it to Dirt. Lobs it into Kerr. That's going to be a charge. Yep. yep. That, that's the right call, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a good job by Walton getting there in time, getting her feet set. Yep. It's a good. I'll tell you what, this Wesleyan team, well coached, well well disciplined as well. I mean, that, they they haven't turned it over much. And yeah. you can definitely tell that they're all around. They're, they've got a an eye to go to the tournament once again this year. They have a very good team. And people may think I'm crazy, but they're not shooting as good as they were last night. No, I mean, putting up 97 points last night, so only having 41 right now. Right. And Ball's tip. Dirk is going to steal it. Dirk going to drive left all the way to the cup. Right hand, no good. Rebound, Brown. Brown, Rodriguez. Oh, she had a shot. Number four, new girl. That is Walterman. Brown. Driving middle, floater in the lane. Doesn't get the roll. Rebounded by Clifford. Clifford bringing it down. Swings it over to Grimes. Grimes going to drive to the cup. Up for two. Misses the layup. Rebounded by the Miners. 
Walterman bringing it down into the front court. One minute to go in this third quarter. It's a 10-point ball game. Swings it over to Rodriguez, looking in the paint. Looking for Brown, didn't give it to her. Cross court to Dirt, Dirt driving. Up top to Kerr, Kerr, Dirt, 10-footer, short. Rebound Grimes. Grimes bringing it down into the front court now. She sees a lane, kicks it out, pull up three by Johnson. It's no good. Rebounded by Rodriguez, 30 seconds to go. Nice outlet to Walterman, up for two, but unfortunately blocked. Oh, and Kerr gets it. And we're going to have a jump. And nothing really Coach Eads could have done. He was on the floor yelling timeout, but the official on the other side of the court already called a jump. 26 seconds to go. A couple of really good possessions there for the Miners. Mm -hmm. Just could not get the ball in the in the hoop. Still thinking that uh, trying to get those first game jitters shaken yeah, off. Yeah, I mean, it's just the second game of the year. Yeah. Across the timeline does Grimes, swings it over to Lamb. Lamb, Clifford to Lamb. Lamb going to drive right all the way to the cut. What a move and good. Keely Lamb, I remember when she played with Livingston Academy a couple years ago. A few years ago now, she's a senior. Pull up by Rodriguez, good. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Still a 10-point ball game, just like it was in the end of the first half. So 11 to 11 in that quarter. We'll take a timeout and come back for fourth quarter action right for this. You're listening to the GMAT Network, Kentucky Wesleyan 43 and Missouri S&T 33. All right, without a doubt, Trebek has been one of the best decisions I've made uh, from an educational standpoint. Um, I mean, like I said, I've, I have three graduate degrees from there, two master's degrees, and now a doctorate. I would never thought I'd have one graduate degree and have three from one university who is, you know, taking care of me in a lot of regards. And without even exaggerating, Trebek helped mold me into who I am just from that simple fact that they taught me everything and, and from an educational standpoint. And I go back to that first class with Dr. Kersey in my master's class and just I learned so much in a short time and I was just like wow there's a lot out here I don't know you know I was really really novice in a lot of different skill sets and so Trebekah has, has really helped me grow and even from the genesis of all this they've helped me grow as an individual and taught me a lot about education. Welcome back, everybody. About to start the fourth and final period of this second game of the day. First game was a good one. Lake Superior State of Sioux St. Marie of Michigan. They won 85-77 over Southwest Baptist. A four, uh, a, also a another team from Missouri. They lost that one 85-77. Got a good one here. 43-33 Wesleyan over Missouri S&T. And S&T down by 10, 43-33. But Rodriguez tried to get it to curb. Ball's on the floor. Both teams getting after it. And we're going to have another jump. And it'll go back to Wesleyan. A lot of hustle on both teams. Both teams going after the ball on the floor. It's just... Seems like so far Wesleyan has just been that just that much quicker. Yeah, they just had that little extra step on the miners, but I mean, S and T is not going down without a fight. They are no. bringing it to them. Lamb wants a three up top. It's good. High Archer there, and she'll knock down her first three of the day. And she's got nine points, and we've got time. And I'm going to guess a shot clock deal. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. It's hard to do all these clocks at one time. Ball's thrown over to Kabetsky. 46-33, Kentucky Wesleyan out of Owensboro, Kentucky. Kabetsky wanting to drive, gets hammered. I don't know where the call was. Either way, ball's thrown down. Grimes, Walton, two, good, wow. I'll tell you what, this team right here can flat out go up and down with anybody. That, a, that was quick. That is a well-disciplined team there. You know as soon as you catch that ball, 
that you're looking ahead to see who's ahead of you. Definitely. You're most definitely right. We'll take another break. 9.05 to go in the game. Kentucky Wesleyan leads Missouri S&T 48-33. You're listening to the GMAT Network. I've always been told that with a good education and hard work, you can go far in life. And I believe that. And so that's why I got my master's at Trebekah. I've always dreamed of counseling with military families, and Trevecca is one of two programs that are accredited for the MFT program. I'm entering my PhD now in clinical counseling, and already I'm seeing that hard work pay off. Write your own story at Trevecca Nazarene University. Visit tnustarthere.org for more information. Welcome back, everybody. 48-33, Kentucky Wesleyan with the lead. S&T with the ball now after that timeout by Coach Ease to try and settle his girls down here. Rodriguez is going to drive left, pulls it back out to Kabetsky, guarded by Grimes, driving left off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez thought about it. Ten seconds on the shot clock, lobs it in the curve. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. And good. One thing I do like about Wesleyan's team, every time an S&T girl goes down, they're helping them right back up. Yeah, good sportsmanship. If it was me, I would just be like, no, nah, I ain't helping you up, man. <laughs> At least that's how I was in high school. <laughs> I was like, I ain't helping you up. Anyway, Brown driving right, and we got a hand check. Actually, more of a body than a hand check. Uh, that'll be on Walton. Her second, team's first of the quarter. Rodriguez lobs it into Kabetsky. Swings it over to Dirt, to Rodriguez. Driving left is the lefty. Pulls out, guarded by Clifford. Lobs it to Brown. She's got a mismatch. Brown, floater in the lane. Good move. That looks like the old Katie Brown that s and used to. Well, she knew she had a girl smaller than her owner. Nice move there. That's got to oh. be a wall. Yeah. How in the world would you Whoa. get a timeout out of that? I mean... Wow. <laughs> and Coach Eads is not very happy about that it was, either. I don't know about that, though. Lamb shot it, fell, fell, was and, on and her caught, back, caught and then the caught it. So, I mean. That's she, why it should have been a walk. But then, and I'm I'm trying, I've got my unbiased hat on here. I'm still trying to figure out where the jump was because it didn't seem like, I didn't, I heard the coach for Kentucky Wesleyan call timeout after he said it was a time. <laughs> and that's what threw me off. I don't know. Maybe the players of Wesleyan were yelling it, and that could have been it. Yeah. But either way, I I was just I was really shocked at how quick that jump ball was called. Yeah. Or not jump ball, but a timeout. But anyway, he's got he's not got too many left. He's only got two left. So it was both teams. So, but either way, like I, I mean, we basically killed 30 seconds of this minute timeout. But you know, we just came back from a timeout. So, you know. Got to have a little bit of talking time. If anybody's interested, anyway, LSU is up 10 to nothing on Bama. But it's early, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> but that's the last tweet I saw was a 10 to nothing lead for uh, what you call it? Uh, LSU. That's what I get for looking at a text message during the timeout. <laughs> 19 seconds still on the shot clock here for. We, uh, Kentucky Wesleyan as they'll get it underneath their own basket. Grimes to Lamb. Lamb up for two, and she's fouled by Rodriguez. And that'll be Rodriguez's third. Third or fourth. I'm going to guess third because it ain't changed. If I'm wrong, I apologize. First shot by Lamb is good. Lamb has 10 on the day. They got rid of s and T's girls on the side, so I don't know what's going on now. Second one is good as well for Lamb. 
That was Rodriguez's fourth. Rayleigh came in for her. I thought I might have been right yeah. on that. So Rayleigh's in for her. Kabetsky, she's like, I got this myself. Oh. And it's going to be off of Kerr and back to the Panthers as it's 50-35. to 35. It is the biggest lead of the day for the Panthers as they look to try and extend this lead out a little bit more with eight minutes to go in this contest. Next two games, I have Trevecca, the host team. Boy, or the girls will play next, and then the boys will play right after. As the be Greg Ruff and and his crew might have been a push push off there, but either way, Clifford for three, no good. Rebounded by Brown, off to number three, Dirt, over to Kabetsky. to Brown. Brown had, I mean, Baylor's open. On that, back, on that lob, if you lob it in there to her, she's open. But either way, Kabetsky with it up on the left side. 12 seconds on the clock. Swings it over. Back, gets it back. Thought about it. I'd almost pump fake. Yep, she fakes left. Kicks it out. Brown for open for three. In and out. Rebounded by the Panthers. Bringing it down. Johnson to Lamb. Lamb. Grimes open for three. It's short. Rebound. 23, that is Baylor, and she'll hand it off to Kabetsky as we're under seven minutes now. As Linden, or excuse me, yeah, Lindenwood's now leading Missouri s and in football, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Three girls coming in, actually four now coming in for Kentucky Wesleyan. Got a whole new crop in. Looks like we got number 12, Jordan Barga. Number two, Emma Johnson. Number 22, uh, Kaylee Nolet. Ball's lobbed in to Rayleigh over to number 14, Kabetsky. Kabetsky up for two on the side. Nice little jumper and good. She's got 11. Grimes drives, loses the handle. Stolen away by Dirt. Dirt looking to drive all the way to the cup up with the left hand and block. Good timing there by Johnson. It looked like Dirk thought there might be going to be more contact, but there wasn't much contact there at all. Yeah, if anything, it could have gotten her with a body, but it looks pretty clean. Baylor over to Brown. Brown looking for a back cut. Nobody there. Over to Rayleigh. Rayleigh pump fakes, drives middle. Pull up in the lane, no good. And it goes out of bounds. Back to the Panthers. 6-19 to go in this ball game. 13-point lead for the Kentucky Wesleyan Panthers from Owensboro, Kentucky. Probably the closest team besides Trevecca. Pull up three on the wing for Grimes. Short rebound. Rayleigh, and they're going to call a foul. I didn't see who it was on. They're going to say 22. That is Kaylee Nolet. I've got her with her first. It's her second. Jay Henson here alongside Claire Johnson as we're here at the Moore Gym on the campus of Trevecca of Nazarene in this Trevecca Classic. Thanks for everybody tuning in. If you tuned in from the first game and now this one. It's been a good one even though the scoreboard may not look like it, but it could have been worse. It could be better. Harvey with four fouls drives, kicks it out. Rayleigh for three. Bang! There we go. That's her first three in the game. That's what they needed. Big right there for the Miners. It gets them back in it within 10 now. Grimes thinking about driving. Stops at a not a very good place either way. Barga. Johnson wants a three, and she gets fouled. And it sure looked like a little bit of a flop, but... Like I said, I mean, I was watching it on my screen. She did get hit, but enough to be to, to have that, I don't know. Anyway, the ref's going to talk about it now. Coach Eads is curious to hear about what they're talking about. Yeah, I couldn't see it from my angle here, but. Yeah, I was, I was, I was looking at the screen, and it looked like it, if they're trying to see if it was a two or not. From my angle, it looked like a two, I mean a three. Okay. So. We'll see what they're going to do. They're not going to check it, so they are going to say a three. Three. So three shots coming for Johnson. Johnson 
5'11 junior from Owensboro, Kentucky. Went to Davies uh, County. She didn't have to go too far to go to school. Okay, now they're trying to figure out the, the person that fouled. They're going to call it on Baylor. And that's Baylor. And, and this is kind of crazy. It's just her first foul. Yeah. Well, I, I honestly thought she had more than that. First shot by Johnson rattles at home. She's got three on the day. Makes it an 11-point game. She'll take about three dribbles. Eyes it, pops it. Got it. Johnson receives it back, pops it once again, and she'll make all three with ease. It's back to 13. Harvey going to bring it down. She's got four fouls. She hasn't played a ton today. But she's still got five minutes left here in this one. Kabetsky into Harvey. Harvey, nice pass over to Baylor, and good. Good pass, good shot. And a charge, and who else? Kabetsky. Her second today. Yep, that's her second time she's done that, and that is Emma Johnson's second foul for the Panthers. Team's third. 53-42. Kentucky Wesleyan with the lead here against Missouri S&T from Rolla. Not to confuse it with Rolla. <laughs> Floater in the lane, Rylet Rayleigh, and good. And it's back to within nine, 53-44. Johnson wants a three. No good. Rebound by Dirt. Dirt bringing it down. She'll slow it up. Looks for Kabetsky. Kabetsky looking for a cutter. Ooh, that, that window was there. She picks it up, swings it over to Rayleigh, and Rayleigh, that's just not the pass you want to throw there. Yeah. Either way, here comes the Panthers. Kicks it back out to Johnson. Grimes, Grimes going to drive, kicks it out once again. Big three on the wing, no good. Kabetsky volleyballs that <laughs> puppy over to Dirk, and Dirk will bring it down. 3.56 to go in the game. It's a nine-point lead for Wesleyan. Kabetsky, if I was about to say, if she shot that, I would say it's from Rolla. Yeah. Not Rolla, but Rolla. <laughs> and we're going to have a hand check, and will we get a media? It's under four. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? No. Nope. No? Nope. All right. Cool. Lamb and Walton and Clifford will come in for these last 344. Rayleigh to Baylor to Harvey. Harvey. It was there. Coach Eads wanted her to throw it. Didn't do it. Baylor, same spot. Not the same result. Walton lost the ball, but it gives it off to Grimes. Three and a half to go in this one. Kentucky Wesleyan with the nine-point lead. Clifford guarded by Baylor. It's been a good matchup all day. Walton to Lamb. Back over to Grimes. Eight seconds on the clock. Grimes drives, and Kabetsky did what basically what you should do. She was going for the strip, but just uh, got a little bit too much arm on it. Yep. And that'll be Kabetsky's third. It is. Mm -hmm. So, number 11. That is Grimes, and her first shot is good. She has seven, at least by my count, and that's not saying much. Second one on the way, and good as well. Nothing but nylon on both of them for Grimes. And now Wesleyan's oh, going to... Out of nowhere. Yeah, just came out of nowhere. Did uh, number 22, Nolet. And uh, not exactly what you wanted to happen if you're, if you're S&T. Only down 11 here with about three to go. But Wesleyan is trying to add on some more as they had a late press there. Ball's tip. Lamb off to Clifford for three. It's good. Clifford has 12, all from behind the arc, and it's back to 14, and Coach Eads has had enough. He's going to call a full. We'll take it with him. Two and a half to go in this one. Kentucky Wesleyan, 58. 
Missouri S&T 44. We'll be right back right for this on the GMAC Network. Welcome back, everybody. Two and a half to go in, the, in this second game of the Trevega Classic. Pops Duncan Classic as well. Jay Henson alongside Claire Johnson. The non-biased Claire Johnson, who is the uh, assistant student or uh, sports information director at Missouri Science and Technology. Or University of Technology, Science and Technology. Or as, I don't know if y'all call it this, but my mother actually texted me the other night, are you doing a game? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing a game. She's like, you know, uh, Missouri S&T is actually must. Missouri yeah. University of <laughs> Tech. I was like, I don't know if that's what they call it, no. but okay. No. Uh, I see what you did there. You're a, pharm <laughs> you're a pharmacist. You're smarter than I am, but I don't know. I yeah, think you overthought that. Try and stay away from that. Yeah. S&T. <laughs> yeah, just uh, S&T. Yeah, we'll take that. As, uh, I was looking at some scores. LSU is now up 16-7 to seven on the Crimson Tide. As supposedly President Trump's there, so I can understand the little bit of nerves going on. <laughs> Either way, Brown driving middle. Stop up for two in the paint and charge. Another charge. That one, that one might have been, you know, most of the charges have been right. That one, I don't know if she was set. And I mean that in the nicest way yeah. because it, I really don't think she was set. But that's just me. That was one of the closer calls for charges. That was a walk. Oh, yeah. That's a makeup call. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, job at Katie Brown, though, getting there and flustering that girl. Yeah, Clifford. Clifford had nowhere to go, and Brown was just right up in her grill, and she couldn't go anywhere. Two and a half to go in the game. 14-point lead for Kentucky Wesleyan. Kabetsky has it, looking in the paint. Tried to get it to Rayleigh, couldn't do it. Kabetsky's like, I got this, but now so pull it back over to Bailey or Baylor. And oh, Dirk had a wide open shot. She'll give it off to Brown. Doesn't matter. Why not? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. A lot better result. Dirk gets on the floor. Off to Kabetsky. Kabetsky pulls it out. Turnover. Rayleigh wants a three. It's just short. She rushed that shot just a tad. And we're going to have a body check from Dirk and one and one coming up. And that's her fourth. Yep. As Rayleigh will come out, Rodriguez back in. Rodriguez, well, she's got four fouls. I, for some reason, I thought she only had three. But that's why she's been out this whole time. I don't yeah, know why we've you got a couple her. girls in foul trouble. First shot from Grimes is good from the strike. Lily Grimes, 5'5", five, five, junior from Harned or Harned, Kentucky, Brickenridge County High School, makes both of them. s and got to do something here. Kabetsky has it up top. Going to drive left, kicks it out to Rodriguez. Rodriguez thought about a step back. She's going to drive over. Kabetsky wants a three. Bang! Kabetsky found her shot. Leading scorer right now. Minute and a half to go. It's only a 10-point game. Lamb. Oh, that's a double dribble or, a over, or a, actually a carry, Sorry. but they didn't call it. But either way, good job there by Lamb to not let that happen. Minute 20 to go. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Grimes going to take it to the hoop and stops. 
And I, and that's just unfortunate luck for Brown. You got to stay on your feet there, but Grimes did a really good job of, uh, of of jump stopping on that. And that is Brown's third foul, team's fifth of the game or of the quarter, and they're going to take 23 Baylor out for at least right now. Grimes takes a deep breath, and her first shot is good. Rattles it home. Lily Grimes. She's made eight free throws today so far. Looking to make nine. In and out. Rebound by Harvey. 11-point lead. Minute 10 to go in the game. Across the timeline, Kabetsky to Harvey. Harvey going to drive off to Brown. Brown. Kabetsky, oh, she had it. Back to Brown, wants a three, in and out. A lot of bodies on the floor right now. And we got an intentional foul going to be called. And possibly more. Not sure what happened on that one. He called it on 14, an intentional. He called a Kabetsky with an intentional foul. I don't know what happened on that one. We'll see here. As we get the fortunate of a replay. And eh, there's nothing there for that to be an um, intentional foul. But anyway. First shot is in and out. Coach uh, Nyman not very happy. I think he's trying to figure out why she's shooting the, inten uh, the uh, intentional foul shot. She makes one out of two because the intentional foul, it's like a technical, and you can have whoever you want to shoot them. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I don't. I think Coach Diamond's thinking, all right, why didn't we have our best free throw shooter shoot? <laughs> but whatever. She got you one, Coach. You're up 12. Under a minute to go. 62-50 is your score. Kentucky Wesleyan looking to try and go 2-0 and on the year to start off their 2019-20 campaign. We're going to run some clock. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Good job by Kabetsky. That's probably the best D on Grimes all day. Clifford's three in and out. Kabetsky with the rebound. Shot clock is off. 25 seconds to go. Kabetsky hands it off to Dirt. She'll drive. Gets a cut from Kabetsky. Off to Harvey. Back out Rodriguez. Open for three. Good. Gets it with within nine, 13-9 to go. Lamb across the timeline, cross courts it, and they're just going to pull it out, and that'll be it. But what a game. s &T was down by as much as, I think, almost 17 and came all the way back, only losing by nine to a very good Kentucky Wesleyan team in the GMAC who are picked to win the GMAC, I think.